Welcome to the channel. I'm Tom, this is my table, and I guess you could call this video part two to my RTX 3060 Ti versus Arc A770 video, uh, because Intel only a day later decided to put out a new driver claiming significant performance increases. Now, while drivers have been improving performance across the Arc family since release, just be aware that when you do see performance claims of increases of up to 77%, that is in comparison to the launch drivers 3490, and not in comparison to the previous set of drivers, 4032. The new drivers, 4091, and by the way, take a shot every time I say drivers and you'll have a very good time, mostly see significant performance increases in DX9 titles such as Stellaris, League of Legends, and CSGO. In DX11 and 12 titles, they mention continuous improvement. However, when I heard reports that they had removed a major bottleneck in these new drivers. I had high hopes, to be honest. The performance increases they showed in Warframe, again from the launch drivers to the 4091 drivers, is impressive. But I retested the six games that I used in the last video, and only the DX11 title of Total War Warhammer 3 saw an actual improvement, while the rest basically achieved identical results. Coming back to the last video, though, I did mention that the 5700X and i3-12100F had very comparable results. And now that I think about it though, I don't really think that should be the case because the 5700X should probably be around the i7-12700 in terms of gaming performance. Meaning that maybe the RTX 3060 Ti was getting a bit of a boost from the Ryzen 5700X in comparison to the Arc A770 that I'm guessing now for sure can't really use AMD CPUs to their full potential. So for the benchmarks today, I used the budget Intel build that I put together a couple of weeks ago, featuring the i3-12100F, a MSI Pro H610MB motherboard, that's a mouthful, and 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM, again with rebar enabled. So not many games this time, but I guess we've learned that the i3-12100F is one hell of a game in CPU for its price. As unexpectedly, the RTX 3060 Ti did better with the i3-12100F than the 5700X, apart from F1 2022. The Arc A770 also fared a little better with the Intel CPU, but that means regardless of which CPU I actually used, the performance margin remained much the same as in the previous video. But I know I haven't tested the widest range of games, 
But when choosing the games that I did, I wanted games with built-in benchmarks so that we would get consistent results. Anyway, let me know what you think of Intel's new drivers and hopefully in the future they can squeeze out a bit more performance from DX11 and 12 titles. And uh, if you want to see the last video, then uh, here it is. Bye.